All right, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Saturday night, September 30th, 2023, 11 16 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity looks like a uh, 1.6 and also a 3.0 showing up around the, uh, looks like just off the Costa Rica area, maybe a little bit further south around Panama. Latest quake there on the globe. Uh, did we see any other activity up here in Northern California? A handful of smaller quakes there earlier uh, following that 4.7 and that 4.2 looks like the last one. A 2.0 working its way up. That's the only thing that kind of worries me here is the migration of these earthquakes a little bit further closer up to the subduction zone here of the Cascadia. But I uh, haven't seen anything else since that earthquake uh, earlier uh, this afternoon. So just kind of keeping an eye on it uh, outside the area of... Calistoga got a separate swarming out here. Now this is south of the Cobb Mountain region. Now this of course is associated with the Calpine hydrothermal operations. Quite a few uh, uh, facilities out here that produce energy by, um, there's a whole process involved in that. Not gonna go through that, but we do have a separate little swarm down here, not associated with it, um, unless they've built some new facilities down here. Let's see what we got across this area i don't see any facilities out there around this region uh, but it looks like a little bit of swarming going on um no main quake that i can see mostly a bunch of ones we did have a 2.3 in the mix looks like the middleton california areas uh at least a close proximity to it about 13 miles or so so kind of watching this um it's not really associated associated with any major fault system but it is again away from the Cobb Mountain area the Clear Lake volcanic field but just kind of watching that it's a little interesting activity occurring down here and also the depth of these earthquakes here all over the place one to eight kilometers deep so continue to watch that um, stirring up here within the last hour uh, or so and uh, we did have some activity earlier uh, let's see here. Let me see when all these struck up here. I think we had a little bit earlier this morning as well. So just kind of keep an eye on that. A little bit of movement off of the... Uh, now it looks like it's off the Makama Fault, the distance there. Uh, Southern California, a handful of smaller quakes out there. No major movement to speak of out there. A little bit of movement across the uh, Nevada area as well. Nothing going on up there as far as any large-scale movement throughout the Pacific Northwest. Yellowstone area. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. See what we have across Yellowstone. Um, doesn't look like much. Pretty calm conditions up there prevailing across the super volcano. Really no earthquake activity to note at all up there right now. The rest of the country looks pretty quiet. As far as any large scale movement goes, well, most of the activity today has kind of been working its way across the Java Trench. Uh, one of the Earthquakes here earlier this evening, a 5.3 earthquake. Um, somewhat deep here into the Java Trench, 109 kilometers. One of the latest quakes here in the area. Really haven't seen that migration here across this region, but uh, keeping an eye on it. As far as that westward, northwestward pressure movement along that plate boundary. A couple earthquakes here earlier, uh, earlier this morning and also uh, one earthquake into the Japan Trench, just off the east coast here of Japan. Got Fukushima right here. Major player in producing some large earthquakes, the last mega quake out in 2011. I don't think we got enough strain built up here for that uh, type of magnitude, but still seeing some deeper movement quakes here uh, down into the Japan Trench with that 4.6, 60 kilometers deep. Kurokamachaka, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on through that region. And the area across the Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench here some older movement quakes uh, earlier this morning. Uh, across the Puerto Rico area, a handful of earthquakes here. Um, looks like we got a little bit of separate swarming here. I noticed this yesterday or maybe this morning this thing kicked off. Uh, most of the time swarming's occurring across the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. But we're noticing a little bit of separate swarming over here outside of the Santa, uh, Santa Isabel, Isabel region. Of Puerto Rico um, looks like a handful of earthquakes here in this area uh, no major movement across the Puerto Rico trench for now South America region a handful of earthquakes um, throughout the last 24 hours the latest there underneath Bolivia 171 kilometers deep into the Peru Chile trench for that 4.4 
Uh, far as any unusual activity noted here across the globe, really not seeing it. A uh, handful of earthquakes throughout the Mediterranean for now. The Atlantic Ocean, a little bit of movement across the Azores up here uh, in the uh, divergent boundaries. But for the most part, things are relatively quiet across the Atlantic. All right, space weather activity, taking a dip here in the data. Uh, I know it's a little bit later update than normal. Uh, I was out here watching the movie with Missy Mimi's. We are looking at some active regions here across the eastern limb of the sun that are noteworthy to watch here. A couple newer regions coming in, including 3451 and back behind that as well. 3451 showing some signs of strengthening here and some uh, complex complexity within this sunspot region. So we'll continue to watch that as that uh, continues to make itself uh, more visible on the uh, earth-facing side of the sun. These up here, not really worried about too much. Uh, we are getting a little bit of more complex structure down here on this sunspot on the southeastern quadrant of the sun. We'll continue to watch, but I think our main threats coming up right now are going to be coming around the bend, so to speak, here around the uh, eastern limb of the sun. Uh, right now, main threat, 99% uh, chance for a C flare. M flare at 45, X flare somewhat elevated around the 5% chance. No major roars expected, although we did see a little bit of the KP index peak out here within the last couple hours, sparking up some roars at the higher latitudes. All right, uh, anything major going on for the Storm Prediction Center? Doesn't look like it. No major severe weather threats here over the next couple days. Just kind of watching the weather patterns here as we enter into fall. Things start to stir up a little bit. All right. Still got a little bit of a cold, so I'm going to see if I can make it through this here real quick. There's that massive low pressure system just off on the western states. It never fails, man. Never fails. Hit that record button, and here it comes. <laughs> All right, so anyway, cooler weather pattern out here across the states for now. Um, let me go over here to the assembles and see what we got for long-term models. There's that low pressure in the blue. 58 degrees out here, uh, a little bit of drizzle in Northern California right now. We did see over the past 24 hours, almost an inch of rain here where I'm at, uh, just outside of Chico. Pretty impressive. They were only forecasting about a tenth, about a tenth of an inch of rain. So that low pressure is going to scoot off and bring some cooler temperatures out here to the Northern Plains. It looks like Central Plains as well. High pressure building back in across the Pacific Northwest. But it's really not expected to last too long. Uh, most of these weather, mo weather models are showing, uh, you know, what looks like a pattern flip with the troughing going on here across the east, ridging going on across the west. But again, this is a ways out and this is all subject to change. Um, I'm hoping that we're, that's not going to be the pattern because I sure as heck don't want hot temperatures in October, which is not cool. It's supposed to be springtime. Or not springtime, but fall time, cooler weather. Uh, so we'll continue to watch this weather pattern. As uh, far as hurricane activity goes out in the Atlantic, well, got Felipe and Rena out here. Not really doing much. Um, doesn't look like there's any major severe thre uh, threats out here. These are very low-grade um, tropical storms right now. I don't think they're going to be posing any threat out here for the uh, state's Felipe heading north, and as we look at, uh, ooh, where'd he go here? Where'd we go? Where did we go? I'm all over the place. I lost it completely. It's been a long day, let me tell you. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right here. Goodness. <laughs> it's been a long day. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, this tropical storm out here as well, just going to scoot northward, but no threats right now out, out here to the uh, states. And uh, again, congratulations out there to the winners of the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. The video is up right now. It's up on the channel. Um, you may have to go back to live, the live videos, because this was done live. And uh, see if you won. There's a few folks tuning in there. Did already, did already receive uh, a few replies in regards to the winners. Um, so those prizes will be sent out Monday, but if you haven't already, go check out the video. See if you won. I picked out 11. I picked out 11 winners. I originally, originally was going to do 10, but I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and throw one more in. 
But uh, either way, congratulations to the winners that were picked out there earlier today. Go check it out. See if you won or not. For the most part, uh, it's pretty cool. Giving away some prizes here for sure. That's uh, definitely a big deal. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I'm, I'm pretty much done. I am... In terms of uh, wording, I am cooked right now. I'm just pretty much tired and ready for bed. 11:30 at night here, West Coast time. I think it's uh, I think it's about time that I uh, jump underneath the covers here. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Uh, make sure you guys have an earthquake plan. Of course, always uh, always the thing to have. There's not a whole lot of activity across Hawaii right now, but I am noticing a little bit of trend out here across the eastern area of Mauna Loa. Uh, most of this activity looks as though it's fairly shallow. Um, so we'll have to look into that maybe a little bit deeper if this continues. This what this one up here, 0 0.1 for that 2.3, but it's underneath automatic status. So this has not been reviewed yet by a seismologist. Um, so could get revised to a deeper level. Either way, uh, not a whole lot of activity stirring up on the big island for now. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. And uh, by the way, there was no winner in the Powerball. So that's going to push that jackpot up there, I think, around $1 billion or so. Maybe even above that. Uh, we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime Sunday. Still the weekend, so we still got one more day to relax before that uh, work week comes up upon us. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys later.